Hey guys, Natasha Westcoat here. We are going to learn how to use Photoshop to create a coloring page from our own original artwork. Right here, I'm going to use my Cheshire and Alice from my Alice in Wonderland series. It's an original painting I did about 2013 and 2014, somewhere in there. And I'm going to create a coloring page from this. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out what brush is going to work best. I really want a natural line, so I don't want something that's very round or basic. I want something that's a little bit elliptical, um, has a natural edge to it, so I can go with that. And definitely I don't want something that's transparent right here. I found something that's transparent. It didn't work. We want something pretty solid. So eventually I get to the basic brush pen. You'll see right here which one I'm using. It's the round point, I believe. And I just start going in and tracing. So what you're going to do with your piece is you're going to create an extra layer to put on top, make it slightly transparent in the layers and just start tracing on that extra layer separate from your paint. That way, you're not going over your piece. You don't want to do that. So, if you notice, the lines are going to be a little bit messy. They're not going to be perfect. There's going to be stuff I'm going to have to clean up later. And of course, there's not a lot of gap or um, natural thickness to uh, the drawing. So, I'm going to go over that later. I don't want to concentrate on that too much because as you might know as an artist, it's really difficult to just go and trace over things. It gets really complicated, you get stressed out just thinking about it, and you just don't go with the flow. I'm going to go with this with the idea in mind that I might even fix up some pieces in the painting itself for my coloring page to fix the composition, to add something to it. And you'll see that as I go through, I add more to her hair, I add more to the detailing. And um, that makes it more interesting to color. So I'm gonna go over that, act as if I'm just recreating the piece without actually tracing, and not worry if the edges are matching to the lines in the painting at all. It's not that important. So we're just gonna go through and trace over naturally. Just go with the flow. Now note, whenever you are working on a piece in Photoshop, it's really important to pull back when you need to and also zoom when you need to work on the details. So if you notice as I'm going through this, I will work from it from afar for the basic info, you know, the basic lines I'm putting in. But as I get to the really small details, I'm going to have to zoom in to the drawing. As we bring the subject in, we 
you want to make sure that the, the main characters in the picture are really popping out. So you'll see as I start working on the background, I'm going to make sure that the lines in the background of the drawing are going to be a little thinner, less detailed, less thick. And when I go over Alice and the Cheshire Cat, they're going to be a lot thicker as I outline their body and their head and the features that I really want to pop and stand out. Now that the basic lines are in the drawing, I'm going to get close up and work on the thickness to outline the main characters. Now I'm going to go through the details of her hair and parts of the character that really need to have some depth and dimension to it and I'm going to make my brush tool a little thicker, a little larger. I'm going to go in and it, and it acts almost like a shadow and brings it into a more three dimensional um, appearance.
now for the tedious part. We're going to go in with the zooming tool and an eraser, and we're going to clean up any straight lines, dots, and thicknesses that shouldn't be in the piece. We can really add more white space when we go through the entire thing, and you'll see excess lines that don't need to be there, and black that doesn't need to be there. A really nice part in the cleanup process is you will find more places where you can add lines. So you just go in, it really doesn't matter how you do this and, and in what order. So you know if you're cleaning it up and you find that there's more that you can add to it in the details, go for it. This is what's great about our freedom to use this. We're not using any filters or processes in Photoshop, we're doing this all manually by hand. So we have full control of the details.